and welcome to the tea of the day, my friends. Ah, hmm. I should probably tell you what it is first, right? Yeah, today I've got a fresh hyssop tea. That's hyssop, hyssop. Let's try it. Hmm, this is the first time I've ever had hyssop and Mmm. I've heard some people say that it has a similarity to mint, and I can definitely see that. Uh, it has a great smell. Um, hmm. Trying to place where it is otherwise. Um, it's, it is okay by itself. It, um, it's, there, there are some, obviously, that I've had that uh, they work much better as an accentuating flavor. This one actually can kind of stand on its own, I think. Hmm. It has also like, um, not like a, a licorice thing, kind of like a tarragon, but like a very light accent of that maybe. And I think it also has just uh, a bit of a feel of uh, like a very low end sage or oregano. So it's very similar to the other Lemiaceae herbs and ways. Um, so when if you've ever had any of those with the um, basil, the um, the mint, of course, the oregano, and uh, the sage. I mean, this this has a lot of similarities to all of those. So, uh, uh, basically, hyssop tea is good for a lot of things, um, and a couple of really weird ones. Especially, it's supposed to be good for helping control your blood sugar. It's also supposed to be help um, uh, protect red blood cells from depleting. Um, it's also supposed to be good for respiratory health in a variety of ways, like it's supposed to help reduce phlegm, it's supposed to help with sore throats, it's also supposed to help, um, because it's reducing phlegm, it's supposed to help with colds and coughs. It's also supposed to be good for your digestion in a variety of ways, including uh, things like internal parasites and heartburn. Internal parasites? Bah, who knew? And, uh, hmm. I'm just enjoying it. So um, it's all and other weird things like lung lock. Apparently, though, when you have lung lock, it's all, it's supposed to be more, or you don't take it while you're having it. You're supposed to have it either before or after to help ease or prevent the symptoms. So good to know if you have lung lock. I don't even know what lung lock is yet. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, it's also supposed to be good for weight loss. Oddly enough. Um, seasonal uh, chest illness problems, uh, urinary, urinary tract infections. Uh, cranberry is really good for that too. Um, it's also supposed to be useful for menstrual camp cramps. I'm, 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 I'm chewing everything today. Menstrual cramps. And uh, it's supposed to be good for regulating blood pressure. And uh, the other last really odd one is that it's supposedly good for helping to stop the replication of HIV. Yeah, I've never heard that with an herb before, uh, so that one really surprised me when I read that. I was like, wow, uh, there's actually a little bit of research between all, all these ones that I have listed here. I looked up, they had uh, some kind of research behind these ones. So there's there's lots that say, oh, it's good for this and that, but uh, these are the ones it really is good for the most. It's all supposed to be good at uh, antibiotic and an anti-inflammatory as well. So uh, that's your hyssop tea, baby. Um, give it a shot. Um, I think it also would work good with other herbs or a little bit of honey in here, but it is palatable by itself. Um, mm, yeah. Have a nice tea. Have a nice tea of the day. That doesn't sound right. Why does that not sound right? <laughs> Have a nice tea day, my friends. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you do the old like button, subscribe, all those fun things that make me happy and... Uh, make me keep doing videos, so, uh, yeah. Later, friends. <laughs>